All right, we're gonna show you how to make a PFP or a profile picture or an avatar, depending on what platform you're on. Now, these are most ideal for something like Discord, where it lets you upload an animated GIF, but of course, you can just take a screenshot as well and use that as your PFP on just about any platform. Now, we've showed most of these steps before in greater detail, and we're gonna have links up in the top right if you wanna look at those steps and take a little closer look at, at what, what exactly we're doing if we're going a little too quick for you. But basically we're gonna show you the whole process of how you can make a user profile picture. Now let's get right into it. We're going to go to pool.pm slash your receiving address. This is how you can view your wallet on pool and we're gonna go ahead and click the spells icon and that takes us to the spells and we're gonna pick a spell we wanna play with. We're gonna click on that and it's gonna open a window here. Now you could just make changes right in the browser by right clicking and going to inspect and then you can make changes to the code right in there. But we're not gonna do that, we're actually gonna save it out to a file, that way we can continue to make changes down the road or just have that, have that, have that saved file so that we can uh, look at it anytime we want. I'm gonna right click here and say view frame source. That's gonna give us our source file for our spell code. Now just hit control A or command A if you're on a Mac and control C will copy that to the clipboard. Then we're gonna go to a website that's called dirtymarkup.com and that's gonna redirect right to this website and it's gonna be on the HTML tab by default. We're gonna click the CSS tab and we're gonna do CSS first and clean it up and we're gonna copy everything here and bring it over to the HTML tab, paste it and clean it up again. Now we have a nice clean document that is showing us uh, is showing us all of the code in a nice readable manner. So we're gonna copy that, and we do need to have some sort of text editor. Now you can just use Notepad or text edit. I like Visual Studio Code, it's totally free, and it makes it a little bit nicer to edit code. So if you're gonna be doing this much, then you can do that, but otherwise text edit works just fine. You can do all the same things in that. It just won't look as nice. I'm gonna say new file. We're gonna paste this here, and we're gonna save this. We're gonna go, uh, that was control V to paste that, by the way. Um, we're gonna go in and file, save this, and we're just gonna save it in downloads as spells.html. And there we go. Now we have an HTML file, and if we went to our downloads folder, which is where we saved that, um, we can open up the file by just double clicking it usually if, if your browser is your default HTML file opener. Um, in this case, we can we can also just copy the path if you're using uh, Visual Studio Code and paste it right there, and that'll take us here. And this shows us the spell. Uh, first thing we can go ahead and do for this is make the spell bigger, because we're gonna want it to pretty much fill the frame for a user avatar, right? So we made it bigger just by hitting Control Plus, and that's just our default built-in uh, browser magnification tool. And then we're gonna go over to this file, and we can make a few changes here that are gonna make it a better user avatar. Now, now that we've we've uh, we've made it bigger, we want to give the lines a little bit more thickness. Let's let's change this number here to an eight. This is the container, and these are the rings. So we're in the dot C, the dot R. We're gonna go ahead and change the border to say eight pixels. Um, whatever you really want to set it to, it's it's up to you. But we're gonna make it nice and thick so that when we're looking at it at a small size. It, uh, it looks a lot nicer and you can actually see the rings and they don't just blend into the background. So this is usually a nice change that I like to make uh, that I made on my avatar. So uh, next thing in here is we're going to, if you notice, once we made it bigger and we made the lines bigger, it looks a little bit off center. Um, it's not exactly perfect center. And so we're gonna ha have to go ahead and change that by saying margin left is minus 0.5 em and you can do that on the margin uh, margin top minus 0.5 em as well and the reason we're doing that is because we're saying on the on the top part of the ring we want to pull it upward and we want to pull it left um, by the, by equal amounts in both directions and if we refresh there then we notice that it is a lot better centered now you may have to change this number. You may need 0 0.6, you may need one. Um, it just depends on the spell, but 0 0.5 is a good starting point. So that one works pretty well for here. Now, maybe we wanna make the background a different color. Most people probably don't want it to be white. 
which is the default here. Um, it looks black on pool because pool has a black background. So we're just going to give it a background here and we'll say background black. So all we have to do is, is put uh, common color names in here and it will work as the background. And if we save this file and we refresh, we will see that going on over here. Now, maybe we don't want it to be exactly black. If you're in Visual Studio Code, there's a little color picker built in right here. Maybe we want it to be like a dark gray, and we can do that. If you aren't in Visual Studio Code, you can definitely find lots of color pickers if you just Google color picker. Um, so let's set it to that gray and see how that looks. And I like that. It's a fire spell, so that feels kind of like charcoal in the background. We'll go with that. So we have the avatar pretty much showing up how we want it to show up. Um, the only thing that I can say is that, well, if we make it one size bigger, it's it's a little too big. But if we make it this size, well, it could be a little bit bigger from there. So one thing we can do is actually just make the entire thing a little bit bigger. Now we can do that pretty easily by just going to the .c, which is the container of, uh, of everything here. And we can go ahead and go to the bottom of .c and we can say transform and then we can say scale, parentheses, 1.1. And that's gonna make it just a little, oops, we don't need two semicolons there. Uh, that's gonna make it just a little bit bigger for us. Um, if we refresh this, now we can see it's, it's, it's a lot closer to filling that frame. We may wanna make it even a little bit more, so maybe 1.15, oops, one inside the parentheses, and we'll save that file and refresh again, and there we are getting real close to the edges there, but still leaving a little bit of a gap, and I think that's fairly nice for a user profile picture. Now, you may end up finding that you actually want it smaller or bigger, um, according to your preferences, so that's entirely up to you, but this is what we're gonna use for the example file. And the next thing that you'll need is OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. Now, this is a free application that you can get on any platform, Mac, Windows, Linux, um, you can get this anywhere and all you have to do is open it up and hit settings and you're going to go over to the video tab and we're going to make this canvas resolution into 1080 by 1080. Uh, we want it to be a square size and that's going to change the output scaled resolution down to some small number 360 by 360. We're going to change that right back up to 1080 by 1080 so that we aren't scaling down at all. Um, we're going to set the, the FPS to 30 here because the GIF can't get more, more frames in it than that anyway. And we'll go ahead and leave the rest default, hit apply. Now we can go over to the output. And now the output is going to tell you where your file is going to go. If your file is going to go to your videos folder by default, you can change this if you want. We want to change the recording format to an MP4. MP4 is the most shareable format, so that's what we're going to do, and we're going to do indistinguishable quality with a large file size. These are still going to be reasonable file sizes, and if you want to make them smaller later, you can do that in EasyGIF, which we're going to show you. So we're going to go ahead and set those settings how we want them, hit apply, hit OK, and here we are with a square stage. Now, next thing is we're just going to come over here and make this full screen. We do that by, uh, by pressing um, F11 on our keyboard and that'll give us a full screen spell. And if we just go back to the OBS window that we were just in, we can hit plus, and we can say window capture, and by default, this will be the last window you were in. So if it doesn't default to the spells window, you would just change the window that it selected right here. We're going to uncheck capture cursor so that our cursor doesn't get in the way of things here, and hit OK, and then we're off center here, so all we have to do to fix that is hit Control D. And now we have it in the center there, ready to go. Now, next thing we have to do is just simply hit Start Recording. And we want to give it a little bit of time so that we have a lot of time to work with finding good loop points. That is the weirdest part of this whole process is, is making sure you find a good loop point. And it's a little different for every spell because some of the spells have a, uh, have a different, have a loop point uh, for one thing that's different than another. For example, you see the backgrounds animating, not necessarily on the same timeline as the rings animating there. So you, you can usually find a pretty good one though. And we're gonna show you how to do that. So we've given it plenty of time. We're just gonna hit stop. Now, if you had it uh, go into your videos folder uh, or whatever folder you had it go into and you're, you're gonna open Explorer and uh, you know, find, find your video there. 
and uh, we have we have a bunch of video folders here. We have we have those up open off screen. We're just going to get out of this uh, full screen mode here, and we're going to go to the website easygif.com. Now easygif.com has a video to GIF, and that's how we can go ahead and upload this file. Um, so the file we just we just uh, made, we're going to go ahead and drag it right here. Uh, you can of course hit choose file and, and browse to it if you prefer. We're going to upload that and just wait for the upload to go. It's it's going to take a minute depending on your internet connection, but now we have the file playable here. So we're going to let that play and just look for a good point to start the loop at because we're going to create a loop um, from some section of this video. So find a place where, say, the, the orange is just in this corner. The orange just went here and well, let's see if we can get the rings in the better spot, though, because the rings aren't necessarily lined up in a clear way. Here we go. The orange is just over here, and the rings are all basically lined up with white on the center and orange on the on the maximum out. So let's see if we can find a good loop point from that as a starting point. So we're going to let it play until we see it get to basically the same state again. And this is basically where we just went to. So so if you remember, we were, we were at a point that was pretty similar to this back at, at nearly 8 seconds and that's what we're at again now so let's just back it up a bit because we want to be not quite at that point just slightly before it and then let's hit this and this is a bit of trial and error here so this may not be a perfect loop point right away oh and this is going to generate a gif but first before we actually go down there we're, we're going to pick um pick a better output size here so we're going to set it up to 25 frames per second and we're also going to choose original up to 800 px. So convert that to the GIF. Wait for the little kitty to dance, and we should be good to go. Well, we we will see how the loop point looks for us. No, that's not a good loop point at all. You can see it's very jarring. So, so that doesn't work well. Um, yeah, that's that's jumping that's jumping a little bit. So let's see how we can make that a little bit better. Maybe. The issue is that, yeah, this act, those rings actually stay, they stay in that point and grow. So we were actually a little bit further behind than we needed to be. So we move it forward a little bit and let's see, they get smaller now. Okay, I see. Let's see how this works. This may not work, but uh, it, as I said, it's just a little bit of trial and error. I think that works pretty well. Um, depending on how picky you are, it, there is still a little bit of a jump, so maybe there's a little bit improvement to, to be made there still. And we may fix that by, by uh, maybe, maybe we just go a little further and we see it go to the next loop point there. And maybe this one's a little bit better for us because I remember that that beginning point is is sort of when it's at this uh, this this angle point where yeah let's see that let's see that um, it, it's kind of hard to explain some of this in words but, but but you can sort of see what I'm doing I'm just I'm just scrubbing along trying to find a point that's very similar to this eight point eight second point that we had originally picked and let's see how this does I think we found a good one there. I don't see a good. I don't see it looping there. So that's a good sign. I I can't spot exactly where it happens. So that's exactly what you want. Um, I think we found a good point. So if you're having trouble, um, you know, maybe pick a new start time. Uh, it can get you out of a funk if you're if you're struggling here, um, or let it go a little bit longer. But do keep in mind you have to keep this total time under 10 seconds as that's the maximum that this website uh, lets you do and there's other gift tools out there but uh honestly this this is the only one i've, I've really used for this because it uh it's quick and simple and it gets the job done so now that we have this here um one thing that we will probably want to do is just make it smaller because it doesn't need to be 23 megabytes and uh smaller and i'm not even sure if discord will let you upload 23 23 megabytes so you might want to make it smaller for that reason 
and that's easy enough to do. You just come down to this bar here and um, make sure you don't click the top bar as that'll just take you away from what you've just built. Um, but go ahead and click, click something like um, optimize the GIF or, oh sorry, resize, that's what we're looking for. All right, so now we're in the resizer and we can just, we can just make this like 25% of the size and it's still gonna be big enough. That's, that's 200 by 200. So we'll go ahead and just leave the resize method by default. Now, if it does any weird stuff, then you change this and try something else. But usually the default works well and, and creates a good GIF. So I think this is pretty good. You could use this as a user avatar and all you have to do is save this like a normal file, uh, save images as, and you now have a user profile picture. So um, there you go. It's unfortunate that the process takes so long and we would definitely love to look into getting this automated in the future but uh that's what you have to do for the time being and we appreciate you taking the time to watch this and hope you choose to have a user profile of a spells have a great day